I am truly grateful to be able to join you in spirit and send my best wishes to all of you in Colorado Springs. ASTHO has a very special place in my life and in my heart, and you are all cherished colleagues of mine. Let me begin by expressing my profound gratitude for the great honor of the ASTHO Alumni Award. Thank you to all my friends and colleagues from all the states and territories, to the ASTHO Alumni Society, and to the Board of Directors. Thank you, Paul Haverson, for your outstanding leadership as president over the past year. You have done a wonderful job. Thank you and congratulations to my dear friend, John Auerbach, who is about to become ASTHO's new president. As John also succeeded me as Massachusetts Commissioner of Public Health, we share a very special bond. And special thanks to Paul Jarris, our wonderful executive director, who has brought so much energy, commitment, accomplishment, and leadership to ASTHO. This honor is so special to me because you are truly my peers. Year after year, we have been working together side by side, shoulder to shoulder, trying to do what we can to help each American reach his or her full health potential. We all share a unique understanding of both the special challenges and the amazing opportunities of public health. Regarding the challenges, everyone here has a story or two. Living and working through emergencies like 9-11, anthrax, Hurricane Katrina, H1N1, Haiti, or oil spills has become almost an ordinary part of our extraordinary jobs. We are expected to lead, not just during those difficult times, but also through the everyday public health threats of infectious diseases, cancer, heart disease, tobacco, HIV, and countless other areas. Only a fellow state health official can truly comprehend the tough policy decisions we encounter every day. Only a fellow state health official can truly comprehend the indescribable mix of science, policy, legislation, advocacy, media, and the interpersonal dynamics that make up our daily lives. And only a fellow state health official can truly comprehend the daily challenge of trying to meet infinite need with only finite resources. I thought I knew about some of these issues as a longtime physician, clinician, and researcher, but it wasn't until I joined you in public service as a state health official that I gained the life-changing perspective that can only come with holding these positions. But being tested in this crucible can also bring out the best in all of us. It helps you understand yourself, your values, and what is ultimate for you versus what is merely important. It helps you treasure the life lessons of public service and stretches your mind and soul in almost unimaginable ways. And in the end, being a public servant pushes you to become the best leader you can possibly be. What I have cherished over the years is sharing these lessons learned with you as we continue to commit ourselves to advancing public health, supporting a growing national commitment to prevention, and promoting concepts of health in all policies. Doing this with you builds spirit and camaraderie and the satisfaction of knowing that in our own ways, we can contribute to leaving a legacy. I have been so blessed to take these personal and professional lessons with me into my current post as Assistant Secretary for Health. It continues to be an indescribable honor to serve with you and to be one with you in a common mission. In a few months, I will also have the honor of working with you to unveil Healthy People 2020, a set of overarching goals and objectives for the next decade that will serve as a roadmap and a compass for the country. This work not only represents inspiration and aspiration for our communities, but also reflects your leadership in every state and every territory in the country. And it will be a special privilege to advance the goals of Healthy People 2020 through the lens of the Affordable Care Act, a cause that so many of us have championed over so many years. 
With this new law, we have a transformative opportunity to build true systems of care and prevention, to eliminate health disparities, and to make the social determinants approach not just a theory, but true practice that makes a difference in the life of every American. What an era we are living in, for we are being handed the opportunity not only to dramatically expand access to health care, but also to improve quality in health care and in population health, to integrate prevention into programs at every level of society, to improve both quantity and quality of life, and fundamentally, to make a difference. Every one of you has chosen this field because you feel called to serve. Every one of you has a passion to serve. I share with you that calling, that passion, and that sense of service. That's why you are all so important to me. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I look forward to continuing to work closely with you so we can do everything possible to help all people reach their highest attainable standard of health. Thank you and God bless you all.